What's up folks? Today we're going to be starting the tutorial on how to compile a ROM from source. First thing you need to do is install Java. This is a multi-step process so I'll just make a short video on just this and we'll have to go to this link. I'll put this all in the description and this is a fresh installation of elementary OS Luna beta 2 and let's scroll all the way down till we get to right here this 45 one and you want to click the fourth one Linux x64 if you have a 32-bit system you won't be able to compile Android from source anyway so that's not even a question and you'll have to log in I've already made a username they ask an obscene number of questions so just make up responses for it I don't know Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, and also the password they require needs letters, numbers, and uppercase and lowercase things, so that's why it didn't work the first time. And we'll just download this file. Alright, there we go, it's done downloading. Um now we can just pull up a terminal. and change directories to where we downloaded the file I downloaded it to my download file and now we're gonna have to give this permissions to permission to execute so or first I'll show you what's in the file you should have the AMD drivers that's not what you need and there we go JDK so we'll just do shamod A plus X and then JDK press tab to autocomplete there we go now if you type ls again it's green you're set and now we just do the dot slash this is going to inflate all the files or uncompress them there we go and then we'll need to make a file a folder where we're going to put this I would like to put mine in slash user slash lib slash jvm. It doesn't really matter, but I guess just use this. So sudo because we're making something in the system. MK directory for make directory slash user slash lib slash jvm. Press enter. Type your root password. And then we can move this folder, this blue folder right here to that location so I'm just gonna do sudo mv jdk1 there we go tab to autocomplete and then slash user slash lib slash jvm I think there's actually a shortcut for this command you could I think do a dash p to create the parent folder but nah, this will work you could basically you could have combined these first two steps in one and then we're just going to copy this because this is a very very nice graphical interface for installing it so you don't need to type a whole bunch of commands it's kind of useful just press enter it's going to download a small file to your downloads folder or whichever folder you're in currently and then we're just going to give that permission to execute so shamod plus x I think that's also 755 if you use that system but meh. and then the update Java thing there we go and then if we look in our folder again you see we now have a green one so we can actually use that and then we're gonna type sudo and then dot slash update and there we go very very nice graphical interface you just press this little circle press OK and it's going to do a bunch of stuff in the terminal and after a while you should be good and to test if it works just type java and then space dash version press enter you'd see right there 1.6 you're good then if you want to check your java compiler type java c dash version press enter 
also 1.6. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. See you guys next time.